Hey guys, welcome back. How is everybody doing today? Now the Avengers trophy list on PlayStation 4 has just gone live on PSN profiles. I'm going to do a full breakdown of the trophy list. I've got a couple of things that I've done to the list to make it a little bit more digestible. We're going to take a look at every single trophy in this game and break down exactly what is going to be required for the Platinum in Avengers. I'm not going to be talking about specific story spoilers, but given we're going to be looking at trophies, a bit of a warning that there probably will be some spoiler stuff in here. So keep that in mind while you're watching. Otherwise, let's dive straight into the list. When you walk out the door, Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and before we kick off, if I could ask if you're a new viewer of the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day over here on the channel, looking at trophies and PlayStation and everything else in between, so you're going to want to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the latest. Now today I have an exciting one, we're looking at the Avengers PlayStation 4 trophy list. Now, what I'm going to do is go through every trophy in this list, starting from gold, silvers, and then bronzes. But I thought what we'd do to start with, during all my trophy guides, what I do is I try and split everything up into a more digestible, I guess, uh, way of looking at them. So what I wanted to do first is have a look at the trophy breakdown. So what I've done is I've gone through all the trophies in the game. There's 51 trophies in total. Uh, these are split between two golds, seven silvers, and 41 bronze. And what I've done, to the best of my knowledge, considering we haven't played the game yet, I've split them into what I think is required, or the category that's required to earn them. So, from what I can tell, there's 17 story-related trophies, and that's just based on looking at the names of those trophies and what's required for them. Uh, there's four trophies associated with leveling up your character, and some of these are going to be kind of grindy as well. There are two trophies associated with upgrading your character as well, uh, and, and equipping upgrades and different things like that. I've kind of camped, bump, bunched a bunch of stuff into miscellaneous, and these are like cumulative based challenges and things like that, so we'll talk about those in a bit more detail as well. There's three trophies related to gear that you need to equip, uh, three different types of collectibles that I can see as well, and nine trophies associated with, I guess, side missions or side quests, something like that. Again, I haven't played the full game yet, this is just going off my experience from the beta and my experience looking at the trophy list up until this point. Now if we flick over to PSN profiles, we can take a look at the full list and then I've got a couple of trophies that I want to highlight as well and we'll look at those at the very end of the video. So th this here again, like I said, th I've broken down the number of trophies and all I've done here is sorted them by rank, so golds, then silvers, then bronzes. Golds and silvers are generally going to give us a good indication of difficulty and length. Uh, and then bronze is kind of all the fodder and stuff that comes in to fill out the game and to pad out the game. So if we go through these, the first trophy is reach power level 100 within a hero. So I'm guessing that's the max level in the base game that you need to max out one of your characters in. Now this could be difficult, time consuming, depending on how hard it is to max out a character. It's a, it's a, it's a weird one and I don't know what this is going to be like in terms of grind and challenge, whether or not you're going to be needing to invest a ton of time into that live service element of the game, or if it's something you can just do from playing the game or replaying the game. We don't know how quickly your character levels up yet. Uh, the next one is Defeat Modak. I'm guessing this is the story related trophy for finishing the game, so that's what I'm going to rank that one down to. Next we've got Reach, rank 25 in any faction. This one here, I, I'm counting factions as a, uh, a leveling up or side quest type thing depending on what it is, whether it's factions a mode or factions is a category of heroes. So it could be either one of those. Uh, complete 30 war zones at challenge level 3 or higher. This I'm, I'm counting war zones as a side type mission. But Warzone, I believe, is the online cooperative mode that you need to play with your friends. I think it is playable single player as well, so that could potentially be a online required trophy, but we don't know that yet. Um, earn a total of 250 hero levels across the entire roster. I would say this isn't too bad, and it's probably only going to get easier as more heroes get added. Given there is an additional hero on PlayStation 4 and Spider-Man, it's obviously going to be slightly easier on PS4 than it is on other platforms, but it will probably become easier over time as more characters are added to the game. Complete 100 assignments, I'm just going to say that's side missions. Complete an elite heroic hive. Uh, I'm not sure if these are the raids or if these are something else, but we're going to call it raid slash side quest type trophy. Complete the harm mission 1 to 5. I think these are like the tutorial training missions uh, that you can do or the simulation missions that you can do. You've got complete 50 hive missions. So again, like side quest, raid, I'm not really sure what they look like. 
Uh, and those are all of our silver trophies. So those are all the biggest accumulation trophies in the game. Everything else kind of feeds into those in particular ways, like lower tiers of those trophies essentially. But we'll go through all the bronzes now. This is where the bulk of the trophies are. However, I think the majority of your time is gonna be spent with these silvers and gold. However, there, there's also a couple of collectible trophies down below that we'll look at too. So let's go through these now. I'll, I'll try and do it at a relatively quick pace so this video doesn't go on forever. But uh, we've got purchase an item from two different faction vendors. This is just buying items break into 30 uh, depots, open 100 strong boxes. These will all be just cumulative things you earn as you play the game. Now these ones here, I believe these are gonna be story related. So reach the VIP balcony, I think is story related. Feels like something that you would have done in that first San Francisco mission. Uh, then you've got sort of these escape the clutches of aim, discover the location, recover the shield, recruit Bruce Banner. I feel like all of these are story related trophies. You've got this fully upgraded major artifact. Now this could be a story related trophy because it kind of fits into all these other ones which I think are story related or it could be a, I don't know, to do with upgrading an artifact. I wonder if it might be a requirement though to progress through the game because then you've got recruit different Avengers, destroy the aim arc, locate the anthill, recruit Black Widow, rescue Inhumanes, stop the heli carrier, reach aim space station, rescue Captain America, reunite the Avengers. These all feel like story related missions to me so that's why I'm counting them all as that. Then you've got fully upgrade any gear item. Obviously there's an upgrading trophy. Uh, I don't know how hard that would be. It depends really on like how many points you need to accumulate to do that. But given it's a bronze, it's probably not gonna be too time consuming. You've got rescue 100 aim prisoners here. Defeat 50 enemies with assault heroic or ultimate heroic abilities. That's his like when you press the L1, R1 thing and they do the special move with the bar at the top, I believe. Uh, defeat 10 more enemies with a single heroic ability. Again, same sort of thing. It's using your techniques. Uh, reach hero level five with five different heroes. That obviously fil filters up into the harder version of that that we had up below, uh, I mean above. Complete 15 villain sectors. I don't know what this one is. I've counted this as a misc trophy in my little category because I just don't know what that actually means. Maybe someone in the comment section does though. Uh, open 50k strongholds. Th this is, it's kind of, I guess a kind of a, a cumulative or a collectible type thing. You're obviously gonna find these out and enter them. I don't know, it, it, these ones here I'm not too worried about, it's more the super super time consuming ones at the top that I'm a little bit more concerned about. Complete 5 Hive missions, obviously that, that filters into the other Hive mission. And then you've got a bunch of these ones, complete the mission chains. Now these could be story related mission chains or they could be side quest related mission chains. I'm calling them story related for the time being until we know a little bit more detail but likely these are um obviously you just got to complete these quests whether they're story related or side quest related reach a combo of 20 hits or higher pretty straightforward earn 100 percent rating on a mission uh so that's obviously getting like your s plus rank on a mission equip all legendary or better gear with any hero that could take a little bit of time depending on how hard legendary drops are to earn in the game uh i don't know could be sped up with microtransactions depending on how that looks as well earn a five star rating on any objective self-explanatory earn 100 percent rating on any war zone or challenge again i think this is related to playing online with your friends so it's probably going to be amplified making it a little bit harder only a couple more to go uh, complete any mission in under three minutes there'll be a mission in particular which makes that a lot easier defeat any 20 enemy types that will just come as you play and then here comes some more these are the collectible based trophies so collect a full comic set we don't know how many collectibles are in a comic set it could be a lot it might not be many uh, Collect 50 intelligence files these are all scattered throughout the demo i remember picking these up they, they they seem to kind of be everywhere my assumption will be that there's more than 50 in the game but i don't know that for certain uh, you've got collect three different artifacts don't know what's required for that one either and then you've got complete 10 assignments this will be just 10 side quests or missions and then collect 500 gear items which i guess is the big collectible trophy gear items do seem to, to to be kind of a thing they're promoting each different character has a ton of different gear that they can equip to enhance their character so i'm guessing these will be quite common but 500 does seem like a lot so that's probably the only collectible that i'm like uh, i'm not sure about that one it seems high <laughs> so that's that's those and that's the full trophy list for the game actually which is not bad like i've got a couple of trophies i want to specifically talk about but generally speaking i think it's not a bad trophy list it does appear to be grindy it doesn't look to me like a difficult trophy list because it doesn't appear to be any difficulty based trophies except for these ones here which say challenge three or higher rating um which would indicate a particular difficulty level otherwise it seems like you can probably play through the whole game on easy uh or normal you don't have to play through on hard or anything like that there's no trophy for finishing the game on hard difficulties so that's kind of a good thing my assumption would be there's nothing missable here either just because there doesn't appear to be anything that's missable per se but again huge grain of salt on that because we don't know yet 
Generally though, you'll see stuff that you're like, ah, oh, that looks to be something that you can only get once in the game or only do once in the game. And it's kind of an alarm bell for you. Notable trophies, I've, I've called out these ones. So the three collectibles, which is collect a full comic set, collect 50 intelligence files and collect three artifacts. Pointing those out because they're collectibles and we just don't know what's gonna be involved with those. The 500 gear items is also there as well down the bottom. They're all collectible based trophies and I think it's worth noting them just because they're all bronzes so they kind of hide down the bottom there as if they're not that challenging but they likely will be given they are a collectible based trophy so it's worth pointing those out. And then the thing that I think is gonna be the biggest grind is reaching power level 150 with any hero. There is a couple of other trophies associated with leveling up but they're all, they're about multiple characters. So if you're living like like 10 characters or five characters to level 250 you can level each of them up to about 30 or 40 and you'll get that trophy this one here is for i guess maining a particular character and putting a ton of time into him and for this my assumption would be either you have to grind through the campaign multiple times or you're encouraged to play the online multiplayer stuff and main a particular character and level him up there. This here could be the make or break trophy in this game. It could take a ton of time. It might not take any time at all. I don't know for certain how long it's going to actually take people, but I thought it was worth mentioning this trophy specifically because it does appear to be the grindiest trophy in the game. Now there are a ton of other trophies in here for finishing different types of missions and objectives, but th it doesn't appear to be anything that's going to be as time consuming as this one trophy. So overall, I think a pretty positive trophy list. Difficulty wise, I would say it looks low. However, time Time consuming wise I would say it looks more time consuming than not. I'm not prepared to give it a time score or a trophy difficulty score yet because I just don't know enough information about it yet. However I will be playing this game when it comes out next week on the PlayStation Store so I'm going to be playing through that and I will have a full trophy guide and roadmap for the game which will hopefully come out a couple of days after the game has launched as well. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that one on the channel as well but I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think of this trophy list? Uh, do you think it's a good trophy list? Do you think it's a little bit too grindy? Are you happy with this trophy? trophy list. Really curious to get your thoughts down in the comment section below on this uh, and we can have a bit of a discussion about it. Who's looking forward to this game as well by the way? I played the demo and I really really enjoyed it and I'm, I'm quite excited for the full game. So I don't know. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does okay. That is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this trophy breakdown. If you're a new viewer of the channel please hit subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.